All right, so we're back uh, quite a bit later. Um, I've got everything dried off and ready to go back together. So we're just gonna start with the bottom piece. I'm pretty sure everything should line up, even though the motherboards are different and the power supply was different. Um, all the mounting should be the same. So I don't think we'll have a problem there. So first we're gonna start and just put uh, this grill back in. And I took it out on the other one a long time ago because I was always taking it apart and it was in the way and I, I did a lot of modding to it. And um, I didn't realize that it does kind of help things. Um, as far, you know, it's a ground for the whole thing. So everything grounds to it. Uh, I never had a problem with grounding or anything, but uh, I do want to put it back in so it does last, you know, the test of time. Because I remember having a problem with it a couple years ago where it just wouldn't turn on. I never really figured out what went wrong with it. It just kind of, I took it all apart and put it back together. It started working again, so probably just a connection, but I really want to make this exactly like it was the day that I got it, except, you know, still modified, of course. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so that fit back in, of course, because that's just the original um, case. I did get this all cleaned up, so it's nice and uh, not shiny uh you know but uh it's not uh, dusty and dirty anymore so let's go ahead and make sure that this is going to go back into here and it does yep and everything uh lines up just like it did in the uh, other case so that's not uh, a big deal that it's a different motherboard it's just uh, gonna fit fine All right, the motherboard's in. Now I can go ahead and put the power supply in. All right, so we'll just start with uh, plugging this power connector in. And that's what I really loved about these Xboxes at the time, because there wasn't any other consoles like this. This is literally a computer. You know, it's got a motherboard that's more proprietary, uh, no, well, less proprietary than most other consoles. So it really resembled a computer more than uh, a gaming console at the time. Just like how it has the uh, CD drive, you know, you could possibly take this and put it in a computer. I mean, it looks just like the ones that are in there. It doesn't have the mounting, but that's basically what it is. And you basically got a computer hard drive here. This could this could definitely go in a computer. All right, so we will uh, connect this up. Which way this way? I don't think it matters, but and it does. So this end goes down here. All right. So all that is in. We need to do uh, the controller ports. Probably should have started putting them in first, but I should be able to get them in here. There's one in. And there's the next one. Go ahead and put all four screws in for those. And then we'll plug them in. All right, so that is together. I think next we're gonna have to do the front plate. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, part for the LED in first, and then the buttons, because they all snap in together. 
just like that. Then we can take our power and eject with all the built-in LEDs and put it in and it connects just like that. And that snaps in. And then we can take the wire and run it right through this housing part. Actually, we may want to run it through the next one over. Maybe it'll go better through that one. Yeah, I think it will. There, that front snapped in perfectly. Now we run this straight down. And we can push it into its connector. Alright, that's plugged in. So pretty much I used the controller ports from the newer console, not my original modded one, and then used the front uh, power switch because it was all in better condition. Because I'd actually modified quite a bit of them, uh, cutting wires and everything. So Next we want to go ahead and do the DVD drive. We've got the chassis for it here. I don't remember which way it went, but I think it was this way. snaps on just like that and then we've got our front bezel for this alright now this will have a power connector that I can connect. And then the IDE cable. And that should sit directly down just like that. All right, then we've got uh, two screws to hold that in. One right up here. And then one on this side. All right, that's fully connected. Now we can go ahead and put the hard drive back in its caddy. And it's got two screws on each side. Alright, now that that's all screwed together, we are ready to connect this up. Actually, I need to do one thing before that. I forgot to put the fan in, so that definitely has to get done first. Um, be a little bit difficult since I uh, didn't plug it in. Alright, so after a couple minutes of fumbling, I got the fan. I had to actually pop this back out to be able to get to the connector because I had to put the fan in first and drop it down. Then the connector had to go on because the uh, connector did not have a long enough wire. So yeah, that was fun. All right, now we're ready to put the hard drive in. We'll run these wires here into their spot. That way we've got room to push this down. Now it's flat where it needs to go. We'll run this power cable in. And then we've got this, which connects right up underneath that little slot to tidy up the cable alright that is connected and that's all flat and good to go now we are ready 
for the top which has another piece of metal that we need to press back onto there and to get it off I had to bend these uh, tabs up that actually hold it on so I'm going to kind of press some of them back down that way it's not loose at all and it should go back on just fine all right so we've got uh, the DVD drive needs to be this bigger slot fairly easy to tell which way it goes. You press all five of these on, actually six of them. Alright, so that is good to go. That's back on. And I think that is it. So we're ready to uh, drop the top on it. Um, can't seem to think of anything I forgot. It's definitely a lot heavier with all that metal back into there. But uh, not any heavier than the original Xbox was anyway. I don't know what I'm going to stick the feet back on with. I imagine some double sided tape but I can't think of if I have any. But if I can find some, that's what I'm going to stick all four of the rubber feet back on with, is uh, double-sided tape. Alright, so there it is, all back together, and the uh, modded Xbox is now inside an original unmodified case. Which will look a lot cleaner on the shelf, I think, than uh, the one I had all hacked up from my early years of uh, modding. <laughs> So anyway, I appreciate everybody watching, and in the next video, we will boot it up, and I'll let you check out what it, what a modded Xbox looks like, looks like, and what it you know. I haven't changed anything in the last 10 or 12 years or more on it, so it's actually kind of like a time capsule, really, of what I was up to at the time. So you can uh, check it out with me. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.